the most significant update we've had all year. The Accolades device is going to change creative forever. We got a bunch of BR weapons that are so good. We even got the scythe, which is crazy in creative mode. We got a bunch of other really cool devices and updates. And of course, Naruto. Let's jump into it. Okay, first, let's look at the leaks. We've only got two this time. Let's take a quick peek at that. First is a pop-up dialogue device. It says it's a dialogue box to be shown to players with information, text, and input options. Maybe this really pairs up well with the new character device where you can have like pop-up text that comes up have a true npc experience i don't know guys that sounds really cool and then fortnite creative news and leaks says a bunch of assets were added for the mole slash weapons lab maybe this is a different like build set or something i don't really know what this is some of this stuff looks like we've had it before maybe we'll get it in the next couple weeks as like a mini creative update i don't know we'll see okay guys a big part of this update is the naruto stuff and you guys know i'm a huge anime fan so you know for this update we gotta purchase this bundle man he looks so good and kakashi guys kakashi kakashi's like my favorite character in the whole show but let's buy this okay i've got my new skin on now, there is one cool update in discovery if you go and select a map to play so let's just select this one here and you hit play once the matchmaking starts it's going to take you to your loading screen now you're going to notice up above me all of the details of the map this is brand new now i want one addition to this i want a little button for the creator that says support the creator that way the creator can get more supporters for each of their maps okay and now we're playing the map i don't have time for this i gotta get to the update okay now let's start looking at the actual updates the first one that i think is really cool is if you go into your vfx spawner you're gonna see a new effect called rain we have real rain now before all we had was the concert rain and wait wait a second concert rain is way it's got like a ton of stuff going on with it this is different than the concert rain used to be like it's got all the lightning now and the like fire dropping as well okay that's a little update concert rain used to just be literally just the rain now we have normal rain which is really cool let's see what happens when we like multiply this a whole bunch of times we'll see if we have like a real storm okay that definitely adds a lot of rain so this is pretty cool we got some like true rain here we got to change it to film noir so now we have sad naruto it's gonna be okay naruto you'll get sasuke back you'll get him back all right next let's look at the new item remover device we've seen leaks about this for months and it's finally here my first observation about this device is i don't know why we need like the device down here and the icon up top it's like a new design direction they've decided to go like i kind of wish they just had the base now what i noticed about this is it's only 19 memory per device that's really low memory for a device guys i mean for comparison sake here's the item grantor and the first time you place it it's 583 memory and then after that it's 17 per device so the fact that the first one is only 19 memory is a huge improvement all right let's look at some of the settings okay first we have affected items this is pretty cool because you can kind of choose what they drop so you can specify it to drop the items in the device so maybe you want them to drop a flashlight you drop the flashlight into the device like right there and then if they trigger this device they'll drop that flashlight that's really cool you can also have it so it drops all their items weapons and consumables weapons or consumables building materials and game resources so i really like that you can kind of be specific with this you can also change how much of this to remove so you want it to remove 75 percent of your like wood resource you can decide to do that that's really awesome you can also decide to delete their items or just drop it and then you can have it drop by team or class this is really interesting all right we also got a lot of awesome new weapons so first we got the combat pistol so this is a brand new pistol that's in battle royale it's actually a really great pistol it has a little bit more recoil to it so that way it's just i don't know it feels a little bit more realistic for different kinds of maps along with that we also got the combat assault rifle which is so good i actually love this weapon it's probably one of my favorite additions to battle royale in a long time really powerful and i feel like it takes a lot more control to like utilize it and we finally have the shockwave launcher this is such a great item like this is gonna be so good for so many maps like death runs adventure maps i mean all sorts of things pvp maps where you have to shoot like grenades at each other and like knock each other off this is a huge addition for creative mode and i just can't wait to see what you guys do with this weapon we also got the zero point pretzels which i believe have a similar effect to where like you do the double jump and it like warps you forward okay that doesn't work in creative mode when you have flight on oh no i'm stuck under the water now oh my gosh guys <laughs> 
so you have to respawn. But the biggest addition is the new scythes. I'm so excited they gave us scythes in creative mode. I honestly didn't think we were gonna get this until we got the melee manager. It has all the abilities with it where you can like flip and stuff. It's awesome. Like this is really exciting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck, guys? When you go into flight mode, when you're holding the scythe, it like looks crazy. It has like some sort of a delay on it. That is weird. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, 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 guys, check this out. When you use... <laughs> Look at Naruto's waist when I'm spinning it. Like his top is spinning, but not his bottom. And then when I like go into like super speed, he goes really tiny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, the running animation. Wait a second, what happens when I like try to like... Oh! <laughs> Okay, I don't think flight was meant to be had with these uh, weapons. <laughs> Before we move on though, I want to test a couple of things with the scythe real quick. Like I want to see if we can make some extra jumps and stuff with this. So without the scythe, this jump here would be impossible. Like uh, you just can't make it. But with the jump ability, you can totally make it over these things. Also, what happens if I have extra speed? Can you make that jump? You can! That's awesome! Okay, so with the scythe jump, you can make it. Looks like, okay, how many blocks was that? That's four blocks. And then with the sprint feature, you can make it two blocks. Okay, interesting. All right, guys, take that for what it's worth. Holy cow! Cow, guys this is so crazy in flight mode i kind of just want to have like a map where you have flight on and the side and you're like flying around like fighting each other that would be absolutely insane all right all right all right let's move on all right this update to the timer device is really cool so they've added a setting in the timer where you can save the timer so check out these two options so you can save and pause or you can save and continue so with save and pause when you leave the map it'll save whatever time was on the device and it will pause it so that when you come back it'll start that timer back up with save and continue, when you leave the map, it'll still save what time you were at, but the timer will keep going for anyone else who is on the map. I'm guessing that's how it works, at least. But it's crazy now that you can save your time, leave, and come back, and you'll still have your time that you left with. Okay, next, they've made some really cool changes to the targeting dummies. So if you go into the settings of the targeting dummies, you'll see a ton of new additions. So on this stationary dummy, you can come in and customize a lot of things. You can change anything from, like, the hinge location that would be on the base or the center. So, like, this is where it would go from the center otherwise it would like go at the base you can change the size of the bullseye so this means like when you shoot it you see i got 29 there but if i get a bullseye i get 58 so right now i have it at large so i'm gonna shoot just below the head right here you see i got 58 then i'm gonna change this to small i'm gonna shoot that exact same point right there and boom i get 29 so you can see the hitbox change there and there's a ton of options on like how many times it hops up and hops down so let's just turn this on to like it's jumping every half second and then you can change how random it is for the max time for random things it's like really cool how like often you can change things and make it just so it's a little bit more custom than what you want same thing with this you can change the length of this bar you can change how fast it is i mean there's all sorts of things you can do to customize these targets now and it's actually pretty amazing Oh, uh, that's a good shot right there. I'm actually a terrible shot, guys. <laughs> okay, finally is the accolades device. And this is probably one of the most significant updates creatives had in a long time. So if you don't know what this is, we've talked about this before. But basically, this device allows you to give challenges to people in your maps, and then they get battle pass experience. So you can come in here, name this. I mean, uh, find the button challenge. Then you can add a description like, find the red button. I don't know. And then you can change how much XP is given on this. So you can say it's very large. This is a really hard button to find. You can give them more experience or if it's a really easy one you can make it very small you can make it so only the triggering player gets it or you can do it so the team gets the experience Isn't this is crazy you can even have it affect a certain class and then all of these triggers are pretty like straightforward now if you want to learn more about how this is all going to work go to fortnite.com and find the fortnite creative 18.4 update blog post and then in here you're going to see how all of this works so if you just put this in right now it's not going to work immediately it has to like gather data there's like an initial calibration time. So it gathers data and it analyzes your data to assign how much experience people get in your map. And then once it's calibrated, Epic will email you if it's like working, if it's not working, all of that good stuff. So while this is crazy that you can get Battle Pass experience playing creative maps, I don't think a lot of people are going to get this like calibration like period really figured out for a while. Now the final thing for update day is we gotta do a circle trick and I've never done it with the shooting gallery since there's been an update to the shooting gallery let's put it on we're gonna do like all the way around like a circle trick on a circle trick here okay i don't know what the heck i just made i don't know why i've never thought of this before it's perfect with this device